everyone. So in today's video, we are going to learn about that how we can automate our bug bounty reconnaissance process or cybersecurity reconnaissance process using Discord. So before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also, for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website yet, which is bpractical.tech, then let me tell you guys that you're missing a lot of things. Just go and type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to this awesome website over here. As you can see, we have a lot of contents to offer related to cyber security as well as web development. As you can see, we have Vivo's enumeration, the art of using Google Docs and so many things. And if you head over to the cyber security section and if you head over to the labs, then you will see that we have all of labs currently based on account takeovers that can be used to increase your cyber security and bug bounty and skills, right? All of these labs are based on real world scenarios and all of these labs are actually a logical bug related scenario. So you will understand how you can exploit a logical bug, right? So go ahead and test it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it right here, right? And now with that being said, let's get started. So the very first thing that we need to do over here is we need to go to this particular uh, GitHub repository, this one, just hit, hit enter. And as you can see here, we have this repository that I have created. Just copy this and open your Kali Linux machine and just clone it by typing git clone and paste it out. And this will clone this particular repo in your machine. Then go to this particular repository and then we need to install few libraries over here. The first one is Discord webhook, right? And this is pretty much it. Only need to install this library and everything's gonna work fine, right? Once we have that, then we need to open our Discord. As you can see right here, I've already opened mine. So you need to open it as well. And then you need to open your burp suit as well. So let me just open it. Let me just click on next, start burp. And here we go, let's just see this. And now let's create our very first server. So let me just turn off the intercept for now. And now let's create on this plus. And let's create a server. Let's say, click on for me and my friends. And you can type any name that you want. For, let's say for example, like hacking machine, something like this. Let's click on create. And as you can see, we have this server right here, right? And now what we need to do is let's type any random thing over here. Let's say testing, right? It's working good. And now what we need to do here is we need to turn on the intercept. Then we need to click on refresh. And then let's just wait for a few seconds. And we have to intercept a particular request. Let me show you guys. Yeah, this one, right? So this is the request that we need to capture. So first thing is copy this request, copy the URL, and then you need to open this particular file. So using nano, type nano, discord.py, something like this, hit enter. And here you need to paste this link, Let's paste it. And now the second thing is in this authorization header, we need to paste the authorization token, which is over here. Let me show you. So this is the authorization token. Let me just copy this. And let's paste it over here. So this is the authorization authorization token now. And finally, what we need to do over here is to we need to set up our own bot. So let's see how we can set up that. So let's just forward this without any issues. And now let's right click on over here, go to server setting, go to integrations, and then click on create webhook. Let's create one. And as you can see, it has been created. Just click over here and copy this webhook URL and now paste it right over here. And now everything is fine and we are good to go. Let's save this. 
and then the last thing that we should be doing over here is to create our own custom methodology right so let's see how we can create that just type nano discord.py and over here go to the scanner function and as you can see these are the methodologies that i have currently added so i am scanning using subfinders a mass then i am sorting it then i am deleting the rest of the files like subfinder.txt and ams.txt then i am running httpx on that particular sorted file and then i am going to run nuclei right and this is where you need to add your own commands right for example let's add one more command over here let's say that after running nuclei i want to run uh let's say nabu which is for port scanning right let's type nabu minus l the file name is sorted over here right sorted txt minus o let's say ports.txt and then we're gonna type shell equals to true right so basically this is what you need to do right so if you are running any command let's say you're running pure dns and something like that right so you can just run it by typing subprocess.call right and it's gonna work like a magic so once you have done that let's save this and then we need to uh, execute this or run this particular program in the background right so that even if we shut down our computer or shut down our vps it will gonna still gonna work right so we can do this by executing this discord.py inside a tmux just type tmux and then type python3 discord.py hit enter as you can see we have got one issue over here right what's this one issue it's nothing what simply we need to do over here is we need to go to let's see out of it let's just clear this discord.py and we need to modify the limit over here so the limit should be actually 10 let's try to run this again and as you can see we're getting this error message dot split one index is out of range let's test it out what is happening so it's right in the main function message dot split let me just print out the message no issues so let me just fix it out so it won't be happening when you are cloning it so let me just fix it right over here no problem we can just fix it like this uh just comment it and then we're gonna add a try block over here and then let's this um, except let's just just exit and now it should work let's try to execute it again yeah so let's try to test it out on let's say nika.com so let me open my screen over here let's put this inside tmux run this then type control plus p and then d will get exit out of this particular tmux and now we are good to go let's try to scan nika.com for example or let's try to scan sony.com for example say sony.com hit enter let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see it is saying that reconnaissance has been started on sony.com right and if we type ls over here we'll see that there is a folder created named sony and if we go to sony we'll see that nothing is happening right now but if you type tmux oh sorry uh just exit it if you type tmux attach then we'll see that the enumeration the subdomain enumeration has been started on sony right so this is how you can automate the process of reconnaissance using this discord bot right so you can ask access this discord bot using your android device your mac your iphone anything you like right so make sure to use the discord bot in your virtual private server so that you can access it from anywhere without continuously turning on your computer
right so this is how you can do this if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and for those who like the way i teach then i am currently learning two courses the first one is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt's account takeover wherein you're going to learn that how hackers can actually dive deep into the application to find those vulnerabilities that can result in account takeover and the second course is hacking windows windows with python wherein you're going to learn that how hackers create their own custom malwares that can be bypassable by any device till now that can execute system commands upload and download files and do a bunch of cool stuffs so if you are interested, then definitely go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description. And with that being said, keep learning and thanks for watching.